Hi, my name is Avril Sorter and welcome to this short complimentary video. What we're going to take a look at today is how to configure the, your 80211 wireless LAN settings on your client devices. So here I have a laptop running Windows 7 and so we're going to start by selecting the start menu and selecting the control panel. Then we go into Network and Sharing Center and then we're going to change our adapter settings. So here you can see my wireless LAN card and you can see that the manufacturer is Intel and that it supports both an A, a G and an N radio. Now even though the manufacturer is Intel and there are some differences between different vendor wireless LAN products, you will see that many of the settings are the same and so by looking at this video you should be able to configure different 802.11n devices. So I'm going to right click this and select properties and then configure and then the advanced tab. Now you can see the settings that I'm able to change on my 802.11n radio. Okay so the first thing I want to do is change the channel bandwidth here of operations in my 2.4 gigahertz band and I want to set it to auto. What that's going to enable me to do is if I'm able to connect to an access point that's supporting a 40 megahertz channel then I'll be able to take advantage of that and get up to higher data rates. But Because it's set to auto if the access point is unable to support a 40 megahertz channel and is only using a 20 megahertz channel then I will also automatically use a 20 megahertz channel. I want to do the same for operations in the 5 gigahertz band as well, selecting auto so if 40 megahertz is available that I can use it. And then my 802.11n mode. Now I want to make sure that this is enabled because this is the setting that allows me to use MIMO, my multiple input, my multiple output antennas and that's very critical for me to get up to the high data rates and also to extend the range of my cell as well. So I've selected and made sure that my 802.11n mode is enabled. Now the fat channel and tolerant indicator is a very important one to make sure that you set to being disabled. This is part of the specifications of 802.11 that said devices can notify an access point, hey I am intolerant of operating in a 40 megahertz channel. When the access point gets that notification, it has to revert back to a 20 megahertz operation. So if you want your access points to take advantage of operating in a 40 megahertz band, you need to make sure your clients have this feature disabled. And it should be disabled by default. So that concludes our settings. The main ones that relate to N are setting the channel bandwidth, which again you want to set to auto the 80211 mode to allow your MIMO antennas to work, the fat channel intolerant indicator, very very important one, and the others are really indicative of how a radio operates and are not specific to N.